Y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. Levon, what's your name? Gary. Gary, and what's your name? Big bro. What's your name? Drew. Drew. So what we doing is we teaching Black, Hispanic, and Native American history. We saw that we God's chosen people in the Bible. That's right. Good question. Levon, what's your nationality? First one. American, Black. What's your nationality, Kim? Mexican, Indian. Mexican, Indian. Okay, what's your daddy? Hispanic, all right, so you, you from the tribe of Issachar, you from the tribe of Judah. Gary, you know you from the tribe of Issachar, right? What's your nationality? You from Judah? All right, so now we gotta sit here and ask ourselves. As we sit here on Colfax and Sheridan, are we in a good position in society? Bring it out. We are? I would say not right here. Not right here, right? Why is that? Why is that, Kim? It's crazy. You see crackheads running up and down the street, prostitution, all weird all stuff. All of it. Why is that? Or why do you see that predominantly in the black and Hispanic community? Bring it out. Why? No. I don't know. All right. We, say that again. They, they pretty much making it for us like that. They make it for us? Watch this. The Bible? You believe in the Bible? Very much so. Everybody here believe in the Bible, right? Yes. All right. We're going to go into the Bible and show why the black and Hispanic community is torn down the way it is, okay? Deuteronomy 28, 15, read that. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So Moses is talking to the Israelites, God's chosen people. He said, it's going to happen, go ahead. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Does it seem like we listen as a people? We hard-headed as hell. Right now, the Bible coming out, people just walking by, they don't even care. I said, I'm finna introduce my son to y'all. Exactly. And he need, he need to be here because he need to know what he need to do to stay out of trouble. Right. So he don't end up on the streets in weird predicaments. Read it. To observe, to do all his commandments. If we don't do all the commandments of God, go ahead. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing, Miss Kim? I mean, it could be both. It could be both. What you say, Lamar? What you say, uh, Gary? Is it, it's good. It's good to be cursed. Are you sure? No, it's not good to be cursed. Is it good to be cursed? Watch this. The Bible defines itself. Read, read, uh, read verse 45. Four, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. If something's pursuing you, that means it's chasing you down, it's tracking you down, it's trying to get you. Go ahead. And overtake thee. If it overtakes you, that means it got you. It got control over you. Go ahead. Till thou be destroyed. Now, is it good to be destroyed? Do you think, it, what's your name, bro? Good to Alvin, is it good to be destroyed? Now, we sitting here on Colfax and Sheridan. Does it? Does this place look destroyed? Are you sure? This place you can, is destroyed. It's destroyed, Miss Kill. Yeah. We got people yeah. high on the corner, homeless, prostitution down the street. They got dope spots over here in the... In the it smells like piss all over here. That's destruction. Read verse 16. Now, God, now Moses said, if we don't keep all the commandments, the curses was going to happen. Right. Here's a curse. Read. A curse yeah. shalt thou be in the city. So it says, curse shalt thou be in the city. You're from the tribe of Gad? You're Native American? Okay. So, now we see, whether it be in the hood. When you go to the hood, it's mainly blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Yeah. You go to the reservation. Like, we was, we, where we went to? Pine Ridge. Pi you're from Pine Ridge, right? Bruh, Pine Ridge is towed down. They ain't, we ain't got no grocery stores. We, the, po, the It takes the police like three hours to get there. No. How come that only happening in our community? Right. No. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. Do we care? Very much so we do. They do. Mean, we do, but not everybody. Not everybody. Watch this. It, Moses said because we're not keeping the commandments, we would be cursed in the city. Right. We would have high amounts of drugs, right. high amounts of prostitution. Right. We'd be killing each other. On the Pine Ridge Reservation, we kill each other. Right. Y'all see behind you on this pole, they got missing pe uh, missing people person posters. How come they only got black, Hispanic, and Native American people on those posters? Right. Right. They don't care. 
No, it's because we, we got to start taking accountability. Because we don't keep God's commandments. Simple simple commandments like, give me Leviticus 19. I'm going to give you a simple commandment that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't do. And because we don't do it, that's why our neighborhoods be messed up. Read this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. What's big in the black and Hispanic and Native American community? Haters, we hate each other. We gangbang on each other, we kill each other. If I see you and you do something wrong, am I gonna correct you? Not me personally, but like, yeah, you see somebody walking by and they smoking, like they smoking a blunt. Are you gonna correct them? Or are you gonna be like, hey, that's bad for you? So, but watch this. God calls that hate. God says you hate your brother if you don't be like, hey, don't do that. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke means to correct. Right. Like if I see LeVon, he going down the street, he hanging out with some brothers who's gangbanging, I gotta be like, hey LeVon, man, get from over there. Don't be running up in people's houses. Don't be smoking weed. Don't be gangbanging. Don't be doing all that. That's wrong. That's right. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. I can't let y'all be in sin. If you, I love y'all. You my brother. You from the tribe of Gad, right. you my brother. That's you right. from the tribe of Issachar, you my brother. That's you right. from the tribe of Judah, you my brother. Right. We the same people. Right. And in order for us to stop being in the hood, stop being at the bottom, we got to start correcting each other and coming back to the laws of God. That's because right. if we don't, go back to Deuteronomy 28. Read that again, verse 16. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Bring it out. Cursed shall thou be in the city. We're going to stay cursed in the city. We're going to stay in the ghetto. We're going to stay in the reservations. Bring it We're going to stay killing one another. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed in the field. What you think that mean, Alvin? Get cursed everywhere. Everywhere. I like it. What you think, Kim? What you think, LeVon? In the field. In the field? What you think? Now watch this. Look at these signs right here. Bring it out. Got two signs, actually, for you. Y'all get closer, get closer, get away from the street. You know, crazy yeah, people. Get here, yeah, crazy right? people running up on the street. What's your name, big bro, in the blue? Sorry, sir. What's your name? Max. Max? Okay, man, what tribe you from? The Yaki tribe. Yaki tribe? Okay, so you be from the tribe of God as well. That's right. You my brother, we the same people. Right. That's right. God said we would be cursed in the field. When we were brought here, or when the Spanish and the English and the French came here, they enslaved us. And they made us pick all the produce. That's right. right. It don't matter if you would. Native Americans was the first ones in the field. Right. So-called Mexicans were the first ones in the field. Right. They would put chains on our neck and they would force us to work from sun up to sundown right. until we died. Right. And not just us, not just the grown folk, your kids too. Right. Give me verse 32. Oh, yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Yeah. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What do you think that's talking about? Yeah, exactly. It's slavery. So watch this. The so-called Native Americans, especially on Pirate Ridge. Didn't the white man come in and they would take your kids from you? They would cut your hair. They would take away your language. But yes, Indian boarding schools. Right. Don't that happen to us? Didn't that, don't that happen to so-called Mexicans? Don't that happen to black people? When they put us on these slave ships, when they look at this right here, look at this. This is our history. That's blacks and Native Americans. They would strip the daughter, the son from their mother. You just, imagine you just had LeVon and the white man said, no, you can't have him. I'm selling him to Master Charles of Virginia. It'll break my heart. It'll break your heart, right? Yes. Bring it up. So why did that happen? I don't know. That was it's insane back in the day, for sure. Remember, we talking about what? Curses, right? Yeah. Let's see why these curses happen. Bring it verse out. 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. It but it shall come to pass. Meaning, you're going you gonna to live in the ghettos. You're going to kill each other. You're going to have your kids taken away from you. You're going to be forced to work in the cotton field. Jeez. These things are going to happen. Go ahead. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What do you mean to hearken, Alvin? What do you say, Max? Listen. listen. If you don't listen, you know we hard-headed as hell. Read. To observe, to do. All his commandments. What do we have to do? Do what? His commandments. His commandments. That's right. The laws of God. Oh. Because we're not doing the law, that's why we at the bottom. Right. 
Like Miss Miss Kim, right? I'm gonna give you one simple law. Watch this. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Watch this. This is one simple law that if we if we fixed it in our community, it would change a lot. As far as uh, are you you with you with Levon's dad? Oh no. Why not? We just didn't work. You just didn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's a great father, just not a great partner. Okay. <laughs> I I can understand that. My parents ain't together. I can understand that. But watch this. This law goes into why certain of those things happen. Okay. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman. Miss Kim, you a woman, right? Yes. Watch this. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says a woman shouldn't wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You know what pertain means? Uh, what, what does pertain mean, Alvin? You know? Exactly. Pertain means belong to you. So a woman shouldn't what? Should not wear that which pertaineth belongs to a man. Now what clothing belongs to a man specifically? No. Jeans, which is off boxers, which goes into pants. Pants. You ever heard the saying, "I wear the pants in this relationship"? Yeah. What that mean? The man's supposed to wear the pants. Period. So this. Now watch this. Black Hispanic and Native American woman, they wear pants, right? Yeah. They're not supposed to. God don't like that. Cause watch this. Here's the flip side. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Alvin, Levon, Mac, Gary, y'all all men, right? Y'all gonna wear, walk around wearing dresses? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Make it play! Because it's for women! Right. Now, now, when you see a man, a brother, walking around in a dress, how does he behave? Romans 7, 14. Like a woman? Like a woman! <laughs> they be effeminate! That's right. Right? His, 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 what did it say? His wrist be limp? Yep. yep. Right. He be effeminate. There's homosexual tendencies Sugar going along. Sugar in his tank. Right. right? Because the law is spiritual. Right. That's right. So that's a law on clothing. That's our dress code. God's children got a dress code. Right. We got a dress code because we special. We not like everybody else. Uh. IUIC TV, where we are recreating the narrative for the black family. As the Bible says, where there's no vision, the people perish. The media have been vehicles that have conveyed destructive images of God's children, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not only are we in the streets, but we are on the airwaves and networks compelling our people to come back to their heritage. to IUIC TV. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 